If you're fortunate enough to be growing inside of a high tunnel or other season extender, uh, it's a good time in the spring to take a look around and see if there's any problems that you might need to address. Particularly if there's holes in the plastic, if there's some structural issues that might have occurred over the course of the winter. And also you might want to take a look around and, and consider removing the weeds that have grown up over the uh, off season. And while you're doing that, it'd be a good idea to take a look around and see if there are any insect pests that have been harbored over the winter that you need to take care of before you start planting. So when you're working through your beds and you're trying to remove some of the weeds, make sure you check out the plants and see if they're harboring any insects such as aphids. This particular plant does have aphids on it, and when you remove it, remove it completely from the structure, take it out and throw it into a compost pile away from the structure. If you have a puncture or tear that needs to be replaced, the repair material is uh, similar to the structure itself. It's sticky on one side. You cut this material to fit and then just simply put it in place. So if you are fortunate enough to be producing in a high tunnel, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I'm Jeff Edwards for the University of Wyoming Extension from the ground up.